Trebele roa mela hapen tsara le kwano e Neville Hill ho pola he ho tlhagolwa semuso mo sebetsi wa Mangaung Cultural Festival ke mo kitwa selemo le selemo selemo sena o qeta di le motsele shumele metsoro be di unzo le tenge me hega tla nere buisana le batho ka o fela e from all walks of life you know just to give us up to speed as to what we expect Lian just before the break was you know giving us the lineup it's a beautiful lineup international artists as well also included I cannot personally wait for a uh, Dave Courts with his song a uh, uh, but the dance you know just to mesmerize us a bit but you know uh, a festival such as this are also a beneficial to economy as well with me now is the deputy minister of tourism a tokozile klasamam good morning uh, i'm fine thanks thanks for hosting me thank you very much indeed for your time now how beneficial uh, could festivals such as mangaung cultural festival be to the economy of the province and the country in general First and foremost, this is an opportunity for the province and South Africa as a whole to showcase its talent, its culture, because South Africa is a melting pot of cultures. The whole world always looks uh, up to come to this best destination that we have. So f from it, we're looking at exposing our own culture to the world and therefore participating uh, by our local artists and our people flocking into the city of roses, which is Mangaung, makes it uh, known, makes it to benefit, and therefore, uh, B&Bs, hotels, uh, restaurants, everything besides the entertainment that you get and also the exposure of the culture uh, benefits. So in that way, the Mangaung municipality then benefits in terms of revenue. There are more uh, monies to spend on services and everything that the city plans to do. But also, uh, you know, the, the whole world needs to come together. So the interaction, the interface, also brings in international artists, the tourists that we need into the country that would also leave money that would help us create jobs. Yeah. Now, talking about money, I was just speaking to the Deputy Executive Mayor just a minute ago and she was basically saying accommodation is fully booked. So I believe it's what you, you're talking about, boosting the economy. Indeed, because uh, it gives ideas as it grows year on year, the festival. It has to give a challenge and ideas uh, for innovation, both by the municipality and the young people that we're calling upon to get into this growing industry to say, one, culture is a selling point uh, and our heritage is a selling point for the whole world. So think of ideas of what else can be done because we also want people not to only settle around Manga, we want, we want to take them for experiences outside so that they come closer to also uh, have such experiences where our people live. We have townships here, we want them to get into the townships and stay there over the period and experience the town, township life. And I believe it's also beneficial to Sadek as a region. Definitely, because uh, this now is not just a Free State Festival, it's a South African, it's, a, it's an African festival. Uh, so a lot of African artists also participate, which says in it, it brings together cultures, both of Africa, we showcase Africa now. It's now a platform for showcasing Africa to the world. So the, the world can see how advanced we are, how talented we are, but also more to it is how culture can bring together people of the world. Well, Mankasa, thank you very much for your time. Wonderful, thank you so much. There you have it. It's the Deputy Minister of Tourism here in South Africa, Toko Zilek Klasa, saying that, you know, it's all about bringing uh, the different cultures together. It's all about letting the world experience us as South Africans, uh, specifically as the free status, you know. Uh, she was also talking about, you know, uh, taking the tourists to the location where we have places where you can buy papo, ijakanama and all of that. But that's basically what a Bloemfontein has in store for those who will be converging here for the next uh, 10 days to experience and feel the Mangaun Cultural Festival on its 18th year. And um, we will be, um, you know, coming out again with a different guest as well uh, throughout the show. Just make sure that you, st you stay tuned uh, with us. For now, it's back to you, Leanne, in the studio.